Здравствуй, дорогой мой дедушка Михаил. Hello, my dear grandfather Михаил. Six months has already passed since your death, but I'm still missing you. I need your wise eyes, strong and safe hands, and your affectionate embrace. I miss your long stories about people, life, truth. You've taught me to believe in miracles, my beloved grandpa. And now I'm writing a letter to you, hoping that you will magically read it. You know, I'm very upset today. Oh, if you were alive, grandfather, I would come to you, sit me by knee and tell you everything. And perhaps you'd stroke me on the head and whisper, Olinka, you are living in a happy time, living in love and peace, in abundance and joy. Cheer up, things will get better. Look at the world, it's wonderful. But what do you know, grandfather, about the present, about today's world? I'd stubbornly object and continue. I've met a homeless kitten on the way to school today. In fact, someone has betrayed it. It's hungry and unlucky. And there are plenty of other abandoned animals. People are cruel and unfair. During the break, I accidentally step on a classmate's foot and he pushes me and calls me names. I'm sad and hurt. I'm started to cry. How can it be possible? I've stepped on his foot by accident. Then, when I'm coming back from music school, I'm scolded by a woman in the bus for not giving up my seat. But that has happened because I've been falling asleep due to fatigue and I just haven't noticed her. And in the evening, I quarrel with my friends because I want to play snowballs rather than sitting outside on the bench and playing on the phone like they do. It seems you are out of this world, my friends tell me. I walk by myself outside, enjoying the long-awaited snow and having a lot of thoughts in my mind. Yes, they are right. I am out of this world. But what is it like, this world? It's complicated. People are not able to listen and hear each other. Everybody cares only about himself and his interests. The world is ruled by greed and thirst for profit. People are enslaved by gadgets. They no longer appreciate painting, music, books. The nature is being indefinitely destroyed. The fight of people against terrible diseases has almost lost. It's enough to mention the number of COVID victims. I would start to cry then. And at that very moment, you'd wisely notice, as it has been before, granddaughter, do you remember that the medal usually has two sides? Do you remember that the side of the medal you are wiping shines better? And then you would tricky wink and snap your fingers. Turn it over. I would dry my tears, gather my thoughts, and having turned the medal over, continue the monologue. Is the peace complicated? Don't people understand or love each other? Aren't people able to listen and hear each other? But I haven't even tried to explain. What if I told this boy who has been pushing me and calling me names that I've stepped on his foot by accident? If I apologize to him, maybe our conflict would have another end. And what about the woman in the bus? What if I told that I haven't noticed her because I've been falling asleep due to fatigue. Wouldn't she understand me, since she is someone's mother, wife, daughter? Probably she has just been very tired. It couldn't even come to my mind. And what about the poor kitten? Brutal people have left him homeless without food, haven't they? But what about me? Tomorrow I will find him and take home. It will be a good start. And what about my friends with gadgets? I'm angry at them. But after all, the scientific and technical progress moving forward with seven leak steps helps people easily get the right information, provides the opportunity to communicate with people from different parts of the world, helps to make our life easier, make the world better. Medicine is developing either. 
I agree that sometimes it's quite difficult to find the vaccine to cure new diseases, emerging and attacking mankind. But there are many intelligent, brave people fighting for our health. After all, I see how selflessly and hard my parents are working as doctors. How much they are happy for each recovering person. How hard they are worried when they aren't able to help someone. What about the environment? I agree that from time to time the man unwisely uses wealth and gifts of nature. However, there are plenty of environmental communities, volunteers and just involved people promoting by actions as well as by words a protective approach to the nature. For instance, every spring my friends and I plant a tree in our neighborhood. Guys are good now, and most of them appreciate art. Many guys go to music schools like I do. Many go to art schools, read, sing, dance. Not all, but many of them. Oh, grandfather, so our world isn't so bad. It's complicated, but how wonderful it is in its diversity. And if you look at the world with the eyes of a caring man in love, it's easy to realize how wonderful it is. You would give a cunning smile, grandfather, and might say, miracles are always surrounding us. The main thing is to be able to feel and see them. And then I'd become silent, being excited. My dear grandfather, you've taught me to believe in miracles. And even now, after you've gone, I'm learning from you to love this world. Isn't it a miracle? With love, your granddaughter Olya.